Stina, go home. Get a life. Go do something with your life. Okay, so we have two days till our first reserve match. Sorry, it's a little bit loud. We have two days till our first reserves match. So we're on the game field. We're just doing some walkthrough stuff today. We'll do some walkthrough stuff tomorrow. And then it's game time, and you'll see how, uh, how good Coach Javi and Coach Ali are when it comes to winning games. So, Gashami's running the session, as you can see behind there. I'm on film crew today, which is fine. I'm gonna film this so you guys can see kind of how we prepare, what our walkthroughs look like, and then we'll move on with our day from there. So, on to the walkthrough. Okay, I'm not gonna start it before we start, huh? You don't see where it's recording now. It's not recording now. It's already recording. You just pause it so we don't use the... Uh, Dude, I got two batteries and it. it's gonna last two hours. Okay. Every single touch you do, every single pass, Every single movement, every every single thing you do on the soccer field today should be on point. Time to forget you. I'm all alone in a ghost town. It's a beautiful madness inside my soul, and I can't stop thinking of you. Walking on the lonely avenue. Are you? Are you? So we're gonna start off with the goal kick. We're gonna have two focuses, okay? We're gonna focus on playing out of the back and we're gonna lose it. Can we play it up here? Can we go to the other side? Can we get, can we play to the other side? Can we get it to this guy? Can this guy go? Okay, or you play this guy, okay? He plays a one touch here. All, everything we did in here, okay? When we lose the ball, shift, 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 okay? This guy here going in here and this guy shifts over here. Don't let him out. All right? Okay, we'll talk about it at halftime. Time to forget you. I'm all alone in a ghost town. It's a beautiful madness inside my soul, and I can't stop thinking of you. Walking on the lonely avenue. Are you? Are you? This is Patrick, okay? So Sean get the ball, okay? Sean get the ball. He's driving he's driving with the ball up here. Yeah. Okay? Now they're following him. Yeah. Okay? Don't Sean, don't be afraid to chip the ball into this pocket right in here. Recognize that okay, there's no space to play in here. Can we get it to the one of the midfielders? Can we get it to the wing backs? Can we now Marvin show up here? Can we get it back and go to the other side? Mm. Right? Like the recognition of time and space is very important. Do we have time? Do we have space? And that's what you have to remember. Okay? When we get the ball played, keep it, keep it, keep it. Can we get penetrating runs? And then we push up, all right? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. F free play, free play.
Abigail, come here. No. As part of my YouTube channel, I like to keep things not only entertaining, but educational and educational. informative. Uh -huh. So, our educational portion of the day will be a question for you. Abigail, why did you decide to become a Division One women's soccer player? And how will that help or impact in your future? Um, it helps with like discipline and like teamwork skills. So like in the future job setting, um, when I get a task, I'll be able to complete it a lot faster and efficiently just because of all like what I've had to deal with in college with um, scheduling classes, soccer, and um, also like socially trying to like juggle it all. It helps in the future like be able to translate by getting things accomplished faster and working with like a team setting um, in like your job. How difficult is it to manage all the things that you have going on between um, college soccer and school and everything else? I wouldn't say it's like difficult, but it just takes time to like sit down and figure out when you have time to do what. Because if you like love like the classes you're in and like love being on a team, it's not like it's gonna be hard every day to wake up and do it. It's just time consuming to kind of figure out like when you have time to sit down and do your homework, then you know you have to go to class. So I don't say difficult, it's just time consuming. Okay, got these Muppets over here doing exercises. Don't mind me ladies, I'm just talking to the camera, talking to myself. It looks a lot more natural when you watch it on YouTube. Okay, so one of the questions I get asked the most is how can I make faster decisions or how can I boost up my speed of play and play quicker? Because I feel like I'm too slow at times when with my thought processes. So, Coach Javi designed a genius exercise. I invented it based off of the foot banat that you see Borussia Dortmund and some of those big teams have in those huge facilities. Similar concept. I did do a video a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure nobody watched it because that was when Coach Javi's YouTube channel was like barely starting. So I'll link that up right here somewhere, right? But basically, the purpose of the exercise is to get them to think quickly so they make the right decision and their touch and their passing has to be very, very accurate. So it looks like this. I got a bunch of soccer balls there, many soccer balls as you can, and then I have four goals. One here, one there, one there, and one there. Obviously, as you can tell, they're all different colors. So the person stands in the middle between the four goals. The coach stands here, and all I'm doing is I'm passing them the ball, and I'm calling out a color as I pass it. They have to hit the goal of that color, and it's quick, so it's one right after the other. So as soon as I pass them one, I give them another one, and then another one. Time is 50 seconds. They have 50 seconds to see how many they get correctly. And then that's their total score. And then you do three rounds. Three rounds. So the first round is just on the ground, passed. Second round is in the air. So I kind of lob it to them so they have to bring it down and then play it. And the third round, which is the most difficult, is bounced. So I'm literally just bouncing the ball into their feet. So they have to control it off the bounce and then play it into the goal. So I'll record a cool little time lapse of us doing it or a few quick clips but I do have a full video that I did a long time ago and I'll link that up. Let's see how these ladies do. One of ladies coming. Okay. Green! Yellow! Blue! Yeah. Orange! Green! Yellow! Oh, cool. Yellow! What is this exercise helping you to do? First touch. First Make touch. Sure you finish the pass. Make Knowing sure you your surroundings. Yeah. Knowing thinking. Your surroundings. So speed of play is Definitely. like the overall yeah. concept, oh, right? Yeah. Speed of play being able to play quicker, looking at what's around you, good first touch, good pass, all that. What are some of the things that you struggle with doing this exercise? Forgetting about your mess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. it's all mental. Once you mess up, yeah, it's like you keep it. It's like as yeah. soon as you mess up, all you're thinking about is the one you just messed up, and, and then you're you like, keep oh, I'm gonna miss this one, and then you miss the next one and the one after that. So. <laughs> yeah. 
You gotta forget about it. Do you like it or do you I hate it? it? I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it while you're, while it's you're a doing your relationship. And then you love it afterwards. I love it. It's fun. No, I want to do it again every time I do it because I keep messing up <laughs> and I hate myself. <laughs> I hate right. myself for it. Hold on, ladies. Good stuff. Good stuff. My love so wild. Please give me a sign. My love so Okay. Oh, that's me. So, yeah. So, you check into the space, which is fine. See, I don't mind you being there because you give us an option because I don't know whoever this is, the forward is in this situation, but they, they've probably checked in, right? They've probably checked in to try and get it at feet, whoever the forward is, or she's on the other side. So I'm fine with you staying central right there. If the ball starts getting shifted, like in this way, yeah, get then get wide, right? Yeah. But here, this is good because a lot of times you tend to stay out here. Yeah. And when they play this ball in the middle, there's absolutely nobody there because the other forward is checked in, mm -hmm. right? So you can tuck into that space right there while the forward has vacated it. If it does get switched, if it does get switched out, boom, you come out wide, but this is good. My love so wild, please give me a sign. My love so wild. So, Stina, first question for you, mate. I'm a center mid, and I struggle with making decisions on the ball. By the time I get the ball, there's already somebody on me. I lose the ball very often. I don't do well under pressure. What advice would you give me as a top level center midi to play a little bit faster or to read the game a little bit better? First of all, just like keep it simple. Like it doesn't always have to be like the perfect ball like all over the field. Like maybe it's just like a small like back to the central defender and then they can do something like more, they have more space. Um, also just like trust your skills. Like if you're not confident, you will not handle the ball. Like when you get the ball, it's a bigger chance for you losing it if you don't like trust your skills and everything you've been like practicing. And also just like I make sure or I'll try to like scan the field before I get the ball so I know like what my next move will be before. So I think that's okay. That's enough. Yeah. Just right. be good. Keely, she claims she's 5 foot 11. 5 but 11 But she a half. is really like 6 foot 4 Swear. and she just doesn't want to admit it. No. Alright Keels, you ready for this question? Can I sit down though? You can sit down my friend. Too tall. So, this is Keely. She's an absolute legend in goal. She is our starting goalkeeper, and she, last year, she had the most saves in the conference. She is also probably the only goalkeeper in the women's game that can do the sidekick um, to distribute as a goalkeeper, so. Pretty good accomplishment. Coach Javi taught her that as well, this guy. All right, here we go. So, piece of advice you can give to goalkeepers aspiring to play in Division One, or just any goalkeeper playing or trying to play at a high level? Um, the biggest piece of advice, um, actually I have two, but the biggest one I think I can think of is everything is a mental game. Yes, you have to put in the work physically, get the extra training sessions in, but you can't let one bad save or one goal get in the way of you making your next save because I have the tendency to get really down on myself and I let that get into my head and then it affects the entire rest of my play. Um, so I would say definitely be able to move on from one bad moment because if you can learn from that and then focus on the next save, that's going to improve your game so much more. I think the second piece of advice I can give to you, um, and it's regardless of your if you're a goalkeeper or a field player, is you have to be put, willing to put in the extra work on and off the field. So it's your nutrition, your sleep, um, your hydration. If you look up here at the calendar, Javi has post-its everywhere, and there's a few moments of there that I'm on the schedule at 7.30 in the morning when I don't have class until 1.15. So I'm getting up six hours before I need to to get in the extra work because I want to make sure I'm ready for conference um, and ready to be beat any person that's put in front of me as a competition. Dang. Wow, I should be happy you did that. I know. Right? Do you guys want yeah, to say anything? We have to go do laundry duty. So. Laundry duty. Yeah. Life of a college sure, athlete. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies. Say bye to the vlog. Hello. Bye, subscribers. What? <laughs> <laughs> Adios. All right, peace. Cheers.